Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the Cotton de Tulier. Before we begin, please remember to like and share our video if you find it useful. Please subscribe to receive notifications when we publish new dog-related content. Cotton de Tulier Cotton de Tulier originates from the island of Madagascar, off the coast of Africa in the Indian Ocean. The name comes from the French word cotton, meaning cotton, and from the Madagascan port of Tulir. Tulir was originally a prominent port of merchant ships sailing the Indian Ocean, and it is thought that European merchants imported several Bichon-type companion dogs to Madagascar in the 15th or 16th centuries. It is probable that the breed evolved from the crossbreeding of those Bichon strains. In the 1970s, a Frenchman visiting the island brought several of these white dogs back to France, where they were fine-tuned to produce the breed. As always, the pros are up first. Cotton is considered a fabulous family dog who can adjust to children of various ages, being gentle with youngsters and more playful with older kids. He is bright, trainable, and enjoys interacting with his owners, who describe him as charismatic, clown-like, and delightfully entertaining. Cotons are extremely intelligent. They are an observant breed who learns quickly and can adapt to their owner's need. Cotons have a cheerful, sweet personality that makes them wonderful therapy dogs. Thanks to their sociable nature, Cotton gets along well with other dogs and cats as well as children. Cotton de Tulier gets along well with any dogs he was raised with because they were originally pack dogs. Because this is a little breed, owners are more likely to accompany him on trips, even if it's simply to the shop. For this reason, it's critical to start socialization your canine as soon as possible. Cotons handle both weather extremities fairly well and they are well suited for novice owners. Now it's time for some cons. While this is a lovely dog who is naturally happy and eager to please, he can be stubborn and easily bores. He's a sensitive dog who builds a strong attachment with his family and won't do well if left alone for long periods of time. This is a true companion dog who needs lots of love and attention to survive. The Cotton de Tulier, like many other tiny dog breeds, may be quite loud. Owner should keep in mind that the Cotton has territorial instincts and should undergo early socialization and obedience training in puppyhood. Hard to house train, extraordinary amount of grooming requirements, and transition from puppy coat to adult one can be difficult. Interesting facts. Cotton de Tulir originated from Madagascar where they were also known as the Royal Dog of Madagascar. In Madagascar, its country of origin, the breed has been portrayed on a postage stamp. The ruling Marina tribal kingdom adopted the cotton in the 17th century, and it was banned for anybody other than royalty to own the breed. Famous owners of Cotons include Carrie Fisher, Barbara Streisand, Deborah Messing, and Jane Fonda. Appearance He is a tiny breed, measuring 9 to 11 inches in length and weighs just 8 to 15 pounds. This breed coat can come in six standard colors including white, black, blue belton, lemon and white, gray and white, and tricolor. It has a long tail that curls slightly at his back, round expressive eyes, and long ears. Generally a healthy dog, the cotton has a nice long lifespan of 15 to 19 years. Grooming Cotton grooming seems simple starting off, since puppy cuts on this breed are much easier to manage. Unless you wish to leave him in his puppy cut, you'll need him to be comfortable with regular brushing and bathing. Experts warn that failure to properly brush your long-haired cotton could lead to painful matting that may need to be cut. With light-colored dogs, special care and cleaning should be done around the eyes to help avoid tear stains. To protect your cotton nails from cracking and splitting, you'll need to cut them on a regular basis. Keep an eye on his ears to prevent ear infection caused by wax and moisture buildup. Shedding They're typically low shedding breed, but they may shed their puppy coat before their adult coat grows in. This breed rarely sheds, perfect for dog lovers suffering from allergies, but their medium-length coat can become matted without proper brushing. Cost On average a cotton puppy will cost $1,800 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $1,400 and $3,000. 
while the cotton price for show or breedable quality puppies can range between $3,000 and $4,000. The average price of a cotton puppy in India is around 20,000 to 40,000 rupees. It varies due to the breeder's reputation, location, and the dog's pedigree, age, and gender. Exercise and trainability. Cotton is a smart dog that can become destructive if not properly trained and exercised. Despite his diminutive size, this breed requires daily activity. Although a brisk walk or game of fetch will be enough to keep him fit. If you teach this breed something that he finds boring, he will not learn it. Instead of scolding and punishments, we recommend utilizing treats and praise. Cotton is sensitive and will not handle being scolded well. Feed in small quantities or reduce meal size during training, as there is some risk of obesity with the cotton. Early socialization and obedience training will help reduce your cotton adjust to new situations and reduce unwanted behaviors. Intelligence Cotons are extremely intelligent. They are an observant breed who learns quickly and can adapt to their owner's needs. According to the Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Corin, Cotton de Tulier is ranked 60. Understanding of new commands 40 to 80 repetitions and obeys first command 30% of the time or better. Swimming Cotton de Tulaires are very playful and keen swimmers. These dogs are sturdy and have tremendous stamina, despite their small size. These canines are a distant relative of the Portuguese water dog and likely owe their love of swimming to that breed. Barking Cotons are very vocal dogs, which mean that they can be quite a nuisance if you live in a small apartment or a light sleeper. It's also worth noting that cotton dogs who are kept outside, in a kennel, or chain bark a lot more. Weather and climate Sun, rain, snow it doesn't matter to the cotton. While this hardy breed enjoys a romp outside in any weather conditions, they are not a breed that can live outdoors. They should always be supervised while outside. Cotton can tolerate hot weather as long as the weather is not too hot. They can moderately tolerate cold weather. Friendliness Cotons are polite and well-behaved with kids, they do best with dog-experienced children who are not likely to play too rough. Cotons tend to get along well with other dogs and can even learn to coexist with cats and other small animals. They don't have a strong prey drive, but they should be properly introduced to any other pets in the house. Adaptability Cotons are happy-go-lucky canines that are well fit for living in small apartments. They are little, have easy-to-care-for coats, exceeding friendly with humans and other animals and require little exercise. These low-maintenance canines can even flourish in the hands of inexperienced dog owners. Cotton is attached to family and prefers to spend time in their company. They may be able to stay home alone for 3 to 5 hours, but they do best in a home where they will have company through the majority of the day. Guard slash watch dog, the Cotton's small size and gentle nature rule him out as a guard dog prospect. The breed is too friendly to act as a watchdog but he may offer an alert bark at the approach of a stranger, only to greet them with a wagging tail when the door is opened. They are likely to bark in excitement if they see something new, rather than to alert their owners of danger. Health Issues Cotton de Tulir is a healthy, long-lived breed, though there are a few health concerns, including luxating patella, hip dysplasia, liver shunt, disc problems, pancreatitis, urinary stones and eye concerns. Have you had any experience with Cotton de Tulir? In the comment section below, we'd love to hear your story. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future video.